very comprehensive win against Italy and um, you know I thought they thought they were very good against England for large parts of the game. Um, you know the rugby championship didn't quite go to plan for them, but I think they're they're definitely a, a team um, who are on an upward curve at the moment and um, you know would be very cautious of them going into the game at the weekend. I think they've improved a lot since then. Um, you know, you McKenzie's you know getting his imprint on the team and um, they play a really good brand of rugby. Like you can see, they do want to keep the ball in play. Um, you know, they'll, they'll back their their kick chase and and then they'll they'll run the ball from deep and. Um, you know, they're 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 an exciting side to watch and one you you want to be very wary against when you're playing against them. Um well for me it's just, you know, taking it day by day and um, you know, trying to impress Joe as much as possible in training that um you know that hopefully he'll he'll, he'll you know pick me for the to, to be in the squad. That's that's all I can do is just a day day by day basis for me at the moment. Yeah, like it was certainly nice of, of Joe to still have a vote of confidence in me and select me for the uh in the squad for the auto internationals, you know on the back of you know not a huge amount of game time and um, you know I've certainly taken a, a huge amount of confidence from that. It hasn't been majorly different for me because obviously I'd, I'd worked with Joe for the last three years and um, I know what he he wants from his players and what he expects. Um, but saying that, like you know, it was, it was definitely a squad I wanted to be in. I knew with Joe coming in, um, you know, he's a pretty special coach and um, there's, there's certainly a feel that you know something, something's definitely gonna, something special is going to happen with the Irish team. Um, you know. And, in the in the coming future, and um, you know, I was delighted to be part of that. Um, yeah, Johnny's looking good in training. You know, he's he's a complete professional. You know, he doesn't doesn't leave any to chance, and uh, you can see that in, in his play. Like so, um, you know, he's he's brought that back back with from France. Like not much has changed. He he's he's trained really well this week. The last two days, um, you know, he's he's definitely yeah, he's he'd have played with Brian and and um, you know Gordon and, and and Luke in the Six Nations last year. And, um, you know they've they've a great relationship. So uh, even though he hasn't been playing in, in Ireland, he still um, he still has a you know great great connection with them, and, and there's no reason why they can't spark spark it this week. Um, you know, competing with Johnny last year definitely would have would have improved my game. When you're playing in in, in t uh, top clubs in uh, in Europe like you know Munster or Lancer or Ulster, um, you know there's going to be competition for places across the board, and unless you're at the top of your game, you're not going to get picked and. Um, you know, there's, there's close calls across the board and sometimes you're going to be on the right end of them and sometimes you're not.